I'm Rob, and this is Fun Science with Rob. And today we're gonna to be looking at temperature. In the Arctic, it's as cold as minus 40. <laughs> we use something five times colder. It boils at minus 200 degrees. Liquid nitrogen. How do we use it on Bloodhound? I'll show you. These are the bits of Bloodhound that hold the front wheels on. They're exactly the same size. So how do we make them fit? We freeze this in liquid nitrogen. It gets slightly smaller. We put this in an oven, it gets slightly bigger. Then they can fit together. And when they come back to room temperature, they do not budge. At these temperatures, things become really brittle. Come with me and let's see what happens to some everyday stuff. First, safety. I've got my goggles on. I'm gonna put some rubber gloves on because of course I don't want to burn myself with this liquid nitrogen. I've got something in here, it's a balloon. Let's see what's happened to the balloon. Now it's in the liquid nitrogen. Can you see it crackling? And this is crackling because the oxygen inside that balloon is getting more and more excited. And those molecules are expanding and taking up more and more of the space. As it comes back to room temperature, it gets bigger. Exactly like those bits on Bloodhound. This is doing what Bloodhound components are doing when they get in contact with liquid nitrogen. And now you can see that balloon is back to full size. Woo! A flower! Thank you very much. So we're gonna put it into the liquid nitrogen. Can you hear it bubbling? And the billowing of gases coming over the side. Now I'm gonna take this nitrogen and I'm gonna move it to the side because I don't want to get it in the way when I hammer these beautiful, beautiful flowers. You ready? One, two, three. Absolutely shattered, aren't I? And finally, bloodhound stew. Well, I've got a lovely apple. Oh, let's put that in there. Oh yes, put that, oh splashing. We've got some tomatoes, gonna to put some tomatoes there. Love some tomatoes, don't you? Oh, and some herbs. Oh, we do like some nice herbs. Now, let me get my ladle and give it a good stir. Mmm, smells delicious. Mmm, mmm. I wonder what the nitrogen's done to that apple. Shall we have a look? Let's get that apple out of there and see what it's done. I'm gonna put this over here like that. And how do we serve? Well, this is Bloodhound, so we're going to serve this apple with a hammer. Are you ready? Three, two, one. for coming to Rob's lab. Don't forget to tune in and subscribe and click on the link things. Next time we're going to be talking about combustion, blowing stuff up. <laughs> <laughs>